uplift the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. You're so amazing. Yeah. 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 You're so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You're so amazing. Yeah. I'm a son by you, so astonishing. Future looks bright, so promising. You're a great wonder, no wondering. Love you're amazing, you're so amazing, yeah. I'm amazed by you, I'm in awe. Your ways are perfect, there are no flaws. Hard to come here, there's no sounds out, but. Love you're amazing, you're so amazing, yeah. A friend, twin, the friends of it's not a fairy tale. Never had a plan, but it did fail. Pour it out, blood, I escaped hell. Love you're amazing, you're so amazing, yeah. Set me free, you gave me eternal life. You gave up your life, you sacrificed. Made old things new, made the wrong right. Love you're amazing. Amen. We thank God for blessing us with another opportunity to give him some praise and to share this great gospel. Thank God for that song that was just uh, played. It is truly a blessing that we are alive and we are well 
because it's the Lord's mercy, as the Bible tells us, that we are not consumed. And we give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Before I go any further, let's say a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for blessing us with life, health, and strength. We thank you for being the great and mighty God that you are. Here, El Shaddai, you're the God that is more than enough. And we thank you for being who you are. Now, Father, I ask that you be with us as we partake and share this word. I ask God that you give us something that will bless your people, that they will hear, understand, and ultimately do what your word tells us to do. We thank you, we praise you, and we give you the glory. It's in Jesus' matchless, marvelous, majestic name that we do pray. We thank you, God. Amen. Amen. We thank God again for another opportunity to share his great gospel. God has been so good to us, and I just want to just thank God for Elation Network on just giving so many people opportunities to share God's word, either through song or the preached word or through write, writings or just so many different avenues to spread this great gospel, and so many different people have so many different talents. Everybody um, is not a singer or a rapper. Everybody is not uh, maybe is not so gifted in the area of writing. Everybody's not a preacher, proclaimer of the gospel. There are some teachers out there. there there's all different types of uh, giftings and callings that God has bestowed on. Every one of uh, the, everybody in the human race, if they decide to partake of what God has gifted them with, and I'm just grateful for this outlet of Elation Network to be able to share God's great gospel. So we are going to go into the Word of God and let God have His way on this evening. The scripture says in Romans, the 15th chapter, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. I want to talk to you on tonight about hope. Sometimes hope seems to be a long lost friend. Seems like we have trouble on every side, sickness in our body, financial situations, family, uh, fallouts. Church strife just seem like everywhere we turn, we have trouble. And one of my favorite scriptures that I like to quote, quote in Psalm thirty four nineteen: many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver us out of them all. We're going to have trouble. We're going to have trial. The Bible says, they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So know when you're doing right and you're following the ways of God. You're going to suffer some things. People are going to say some things that are not true about you. People are going to talk about you. People are going to despise you. People are going to bring up your past. Uh, you may even get down upon your own self wondering, is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, finances sometimes get in our disarray, and sometimes sickness attacks our body. But child of God, when God has called you to do something, uh, it doesn't matter what the enemy sends to attack us. You are going to accomplish what God has set out for you to do. His word tells us, he that which has begun a great work in you will perform it, shall perform it until the day of the Lord Jesus. God started all of us off and he will complete just what he started in us. And no devil, no demon in hell can stop it. But for the sake of uh, what we're talking about tonight in Romans, the 15th chapter, verse 4, for whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning. This is telling us that what we learned in the Old Testament, the old law, was for our learning. It was to teach us what the sacrifice of what Jesus done on that cross how valuable it was, because if it wasn't for Jesus being the ultimate sacrifice, we would still be uh, sacrificing bulls and lambs and things of that nature. But now we don't have to do that because Jesus, when he died upon the cross, he became our ultimate sacrifice. And I don't know about you, but I am so glad that Jesus died and he 
rose again, and he became the sacrifice that we needed. Because every time we fall short of sin, we would have to bring an unblemished animal, a, she, a goat or a, she, a sheep, some, a lamb, something to uh, be an atonement for our sins. But Jesus is our ultimate atonement. So what, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, they were written for our learning. Those things that we read about, about how they used to sacrifice, what they had to do, uh, how they worshipped, how they uh, operated in their life, how they had to live by those commandments, those things were written for our learning. We ought to be have or have learned something from what our forefathers have done, and we should have learned enough to know that that way is not the way that we should be going. We should be following uh, the plan that God has laid out before us now by his word, which Jesus fulfilled in the New Testament. The Old Testament is for our learning. We thank God for the Old Testament. We don't throw away the Old Testament. I hear people say sometimes, I don't preach from the Old Testament, and I say, why not preach the whole Bible? Well, the Old Testament, we don't live by that anymore. and We don't live by those things that they used to do, but there are some great things in the Old Testament that can teach us even how to live even in the New uh, Testament life that we live on today. So don't throw away the Bible. The whole Bible is good. I, I want you to hear me clearly. Don't throw away the Old Testament. The Old Testament is good. It is needed. We need it. I advise you to read it if you haven't read it. Read it. You can get some knowledge and understanding and learning from the Old Testament. But the New Testament is what we live by on today because we're in the New Covenant because of what Jesus done on our behalf. So it's written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. Through patience, everything is not going to come right off hand. Everything is not going to happen just uh, because we want it to happen right now. There's a Scripture that tells us we have need of patience. And it says, after we've suffered a while, we should reign with it. We're going to go through some things on this earth. I, I quoted earlier my favorite, one of my favorite scriptures, Psalm 34, 19. We're going to go through some things. We're going to have some trouble. We're going to have some trials. But we know that those troubles and trials are not to take us out. But it develops a stronger relationship with Christ if we allow it. And it also shows us his glory because uh, he always brings us out on top. Like this old song, uh, uh I think it's Evelyn Tarantino, a G, a G sings the song, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. Everything that happens good in our life, great in our life, God did it. He orchestrated it. He made it happen. And those things that are bad, maybe we uh, create some situations for bad things to happen, or maybe it's just an attack of the enemy or whatever, God still has a way of stepping in those situations and turning them around for our good. So hold on. Be strong. This test is, is going to Bring us out on victory side. Just go through the test. Pass the test the way the Bible prescribes. Don't do it your own way. Don't try to figure it out your in your thought processes. Do it the way the Bible says do it. And I guarantee you victory belongs to you. For whatsoever things were written aforetime for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. The scriptures give us hope, people of God. The scriptures tell us that nay in all these things we are more than conquerors. The scriptures tell us that he will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. The scriptures tell us that by his stripes we are healed. We have hope through the scriptures no matter what circumstance, whether it be sickness in our body, financial woe, family problems, work problems, uh, car trouble, whatever kind of trouble we may deal with or going through. God has an answer in his word, and the scriptures give us hope. When I'm going through situations, I go find a word that relates to my situation, and I proclaim that word over my situation, and God always, 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 always turns it around for my good. He always works it out. He always gives me the best. He always takes care of us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He said in his word, lo, he will be with us always until the end of the word. So we can take hope in this for whatsoever things were written before time was written for our learning. Thank God for the learning. Thank God for him taking the time to teach us things so we might learn. And that through we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. There's a song, the Florida Mass Choir song years ago, I think around about 1990. It was called Higher Hope. That was the name of their album. And, and the song... Uh, 
they uh, Reverend Arthur T. Jones, I think that was his name, that uh, led the song and composed the song. But he said something. He said he quoted an old song that said, "My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and His righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name." His hope was built on Jesus. Child of God, I came to encourage you on today to put your trust and your hope in and on him. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. Build your hopes on things eternal. What's eternal? God is eternal. And hold to God's unchanging hand. It's going to work in your favor, child of God. Everything is working out for your good. It may not seem good. It may not look good. It may not smell good. But you can believe that when you are a child of God, it's working for your good. So hold your head up high. Walk through the valley and let God do a great and mighty work in and through your life. Build your hopes on him. He's working it out. He's working it out for you. I just want to pray this prayer with somebody else. Tonight that is listening or whenever you may listen to this and To keep the faith Hold on This test that you may be going through is, is your storm and it won't be long Child of God, hold on Father, we thank you for blessing us with Another opportunity to Go into your word and find our hope Our hope is built on nothing less but you, God And we thank you for giving us hope That we have and expect it in we know the thoughts that you think towards us, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give us a hope and a future. And I know our future is bright in you. It may not seem bright, but we know in the future we look much better than we look right now. So, God, I ask that you strengthen these uh, people, continue to lift them up on every side, do a great and mighty work in and through us so that you can get the glory out of our lives. And we thank you and we praise you for all that you are and all that you are going to do in our life. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. It's in Jesus' matchless name we do pray. We thank you, God. Amen. I'll stay right with the rock, homie. Won't catch me.